Yeah, this is John from San Antonio. Hey, John, how are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah, I just started re- le- recently uh, listening to your show, and I really enjoy it. Uh, I really like your interviews. I think you're an excellent interviewer, and also uh, like Cliff Schechter on Fridays. Uh, I want to talk about the latest debt ceiling extortion threats from the Republicans. Yeah. I think the Republicans will give in and sign a clean, clean debt ceiling bill. But the fact that they're they're even threatening to default on the nation's debt that would send the economy into a worldwide depression shows that they're totally detached from reality and they're completely immoral. The traditional media is completely derelict in their duty to inform the public about the catastrophic effects that would happen if America defaults. Well, you know, it's also, uh, you know, I don't, uh, it, you know, let, let me just, you know, uh, right now, apparently the Republicans have two things that they're contemplating. One would be uh, to require the elimination of what are called risk corridors in the Affordable Care Act. Uh, that seems to be a, uh, a dead end for them because it just came out that in the event that they were to repeal that part of the Affordable Care Act, Risk corridors are supposed to stabilize uh, the insurance market as we make this transition. It would actually end up costing the U.S. government about $8 billion because the risk corridors are actually going to benefit. Uh, it's actually going to bring revenue in at this point. The other thing that they're going to they're going to talk about is um, they're going to demand that Keystone XL pipeline um, be approved. This is, by the State Department's own numbers, will provide 35, 35, not 3,500, not 350, not 35,000, 35 long-term jobs uh, for the country. It will raise the price of oil, of gas in this country, because it will tie up refinery um, uh, production. And, despite the fact of our last caller, it, w- it will add to... Uh, uh, the uh, global warming. So what's amazing to me is that anybody in the media is taking this uh, threat from them seriously. They've already backed down twice. They're not going to do it for real. No way. Not coming up into a 2014 election. No way, no how. They're just bluffing. Yeah, no, I, I realize they're bluffing, but I mean, it's, I mean, you have to remember what happened in 2011 when Obama didn't call their bluff. Right, I we do. We got the sequestration, which we're still trying to undo. So, yeah, I mean, I think that they will call their bluff, but I mean, why are they even doing this? And why doesn't the media call them out? This is, you know, these tactics are just so, uh, you know, terrible for the country. I don't understand, I mean, I do understand, uh, unfortunately. You know, you have people like the guy who just called in earlier from the South, you know. I mean, uh, you know, I'm obviously from the South also, but, I mean, uh, you know, it, it's so sad to see things that are going on in this country, and they, 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 the Republicans didn't really pay any kind of price from that shutdown at all. I thought that, you know, there was a chance that the, the Democrats could take the House and start a, a pro- progressive agenda uh, again, you know, if that could happen. But, I mean, it just seems like, you know, people are just uh, independents and Republicans. The, they, the Republican Party can do anything, and they don't, won't have to pay a price at all. I mean, I mean the only way that, that, uh, Republic, that, that, that Democrats, the progressives, can get elected was because of George W. Bush. I mean, it just, it just seems like after that, uh, you know, everything... Uh, the progressives have been totally on the defensive. I mean, it's great well, to see well, Elizabeth right. Warren I think, out there. I think, I think, yeah, I think for the most part you're you're right. Although the Senate, um, the Democratic caucus in the Senate has gotten uh, um, slightly more progressive. I mean, slightly, slightly, and, and and that's the reality. I mean, I think, but I think in the main you're right. I think we're some years off uh, to get out from the yoke of of redistricting. Uh, and we're going to have to see, and, 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 you know, I don't think President Obama, frankly, has done uh, the left any favors in terms of drawing those distinctions uh, because the press is only going to go so far. It needs, uh, it needs someone to uh, sort of lead them uh, by their, uh, the scruff of their necks. But I appreciate the call. <laughs>